Don't you hate when the train stops right over the tracks? I think it's stupid. I'm just trying to get right over the tracks so I can go bike. I figure it's a lot easier to throw the bike in the back of the car and, and get over there, but. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna, I, I like to do biking vlogs. It's just, it's kind of fun. It's like what I like to do when I can't do anything baseball. Um, I just probably post some bike vlogs. I'm learning how to BMX, how to have fun. I'm mainly just a street rider where I, I like to jump on and off stuff. Like that's my thing, I like jumping. Jumping, manuals, and pretty much it. I'm learning 180s right now. Um, but I like to like jump staircases and gaps and stuff. That's more my thing. I grew up like riding trails, like me and my friend like mountain bike trails. That's where I get that from. I'm not as much of a trick person, but I think it's still fun to watch. I enjoy watching BMX videos. I watch John Hicks, Austin Augie. Um, pretty, though, that's pretty much it who I watch for BMX. Oh, Adam LZ. Um, yeah, I grew up watching them. Uh, like I said, I don't do tricks like them, but I think it's still fun, and I'm learning the tricks right now. Um, I have never landed a 180 yet. Um, I can roll out and everything like that. I just haven't gotten a 180 yet. I haven't even really tried that much. I probably tried like five times. But each day I'm teaching myself. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun ride. You guys will definitely see me get better. I've already lost, I've lost 6.6 .6 pounds this past week, like about six days, I think. Seven, seven days, so the last week, I've lost 6.6 .6 pounds, which is pretty good. And uh, I've been biking every day and having fun, and I'm straight losing weight. Skip going to the gym for cardio, just bike, it's so much fun. About time. As you can see here, it's just a Fit Bike Co. I forgot the guy's name. Uh, something Dugan. See there? It's like a signature bike. It was like 430 bucks. Those welds are so sick. But my favorite part about it is the bronze frame with the. Um, the offset of the blue wheels. I have a pair of black DK handlebars that I kind of want to throw on here. That's really smart me saying being in the cop station uh, is right behind that person right there. But, um, well, yeah, this is a really strong frame. I like the welds on it. They're actually really nice. I need to take that off. That's where I got it. But uh, I'm actually looking at selling this bike. Pretty quick. It is Sunday. I believe his name is. I don't know his name. It's a Sunday signature bike. It's like. Because I've always wanted a Sunday and never had one. So yeah, that's the bike. As a backpack, let's go.
update. I was just, I just uh, was biking, about to hop off a staircase. My freaking tire popped, and I had to call an ambulance. I broke my shin. My shin broke. All right, in the middle of it, and it may have broken my ankle too. But I'll keep you guys updated. I guess this video is turning out to be different. All right, guys, this is the ending to the video. I'm just here resting. Um, it was a, it was a different video. It's not what I expected it to be, but here on the couch, resting. Make sure I cover up, but. Yeah, I have a broken leg. I broke it about halfway up my shin. Um, there's a clean break right through the V. There's like a V bone in there. Clean break right through it. Um, I was biking to the next spot to show you guys so this video will include the clips I got before I broke my leg and I, unfortunately I was not recording when it happened because I was biking to the new spot and my tire went flat my back tire went flat at the top on the sidewalk went flat threw me off a staircase and a staircase I was not gonna jump because it was like almost a 10 stair, I think it was a 10 stair. I was not gonna jump it, and uh, it threw me off, and I tried to catch myself because the handlebars went up, like, you know, up, and I tried to catch it, and my, my back foot drug underneath me and cut on something and bent backwards and snapped. It hurt. I was on the ground, like, I was, like, screaming, like, like pounding the ground, like, yelling, fuck this, shit, all this stuff. Sorry about the cussing, but... I have never felt the pain like snapping my shin in half in my life. Um, I will be getting some videos out though for you guys um, this coming week because um, I have to. I have to keep my mom, and my girlfriend, doing an amazing job taking care of me. I'm so thankful. Um, paramedics were amazing. Firefighters were amazing. Um, the ER nurses and doctor were amazing. The ER triology nurse or whatever was terrible, ruthless. I had to sit with a snapped shin in half in the ER patient waiting room. I had to sit there for a half hour because she said I, I was not a priority to get a room even though no one else in there was barely even hurt. So, Bella, get down. Get down. Get down. Yeah, she gets excited and she will jump on me, which she did three times already and oh my God, that hurts so bad. But uh, yeah. The paramedics and everything were so good. You guys see my wheelchair over there, Bella. But pretty much I snapped it right here, like straight across, and then my foot shifted over. So I do have to have surgery. They're just waiting for the spine to go down for about three, three to five more days, then I'll have surgery. Um, baseball's over for me for the year. Um, they said I could go back next year and play. I just can't catch because I'll have a plate in my ankle. Um, hockey, they said should be fine because I'm not like squatting or anything. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of ideas for videos to make for you guys. I have a huge 13K Q&A coming up. Um, uh, this video, I have to wait to post it because I have to edit it and we don't have Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi is down. I'm going home to my parents for my mom to take care of me for a couple days um, this this weekend. So that's when I'll edit and post this video. So that's why I'm posting random videos before that. Um, and I have a couple glove reviews I'm going to post this weekend. But for my car channel, I'm going to do like how to clean my wheels and stuff like that. Something where I can sit down and do a Q&A for that channel. Some other fun stuff. And uh, yeah, go from there. So... Sorry guys, I can't post any game day vlogs this year anymore. Um, I'm I, I'm out of work. I have no money. Um, I'm. People have suggested like on Instagram and stuff to set up a GoFundMe if anyone wants to help me. Um, I am out of money. I have bills, and it sucks. I broke my leg, so I'm probably gonna set up a GoFundMe. Uh, I'm not asking for any money, don't worry about it, um, but if you have like a dollar to spare or something, that would be awesome if you guys could uh, put it in the GoFundMe. I think I can set up, up like a, 
you can donate however much you want, like 50 cents or whatever. Anything helps, I mean, really. Um, but it's not, I'm not being like, hey, give me your money. I really don't, I don't care if you donate, but if you have an extra dollar and you want to donate, that'd be awesome. And uh, I'm starting a merch line for my Minnesota Made YouTube channel and Baseball Pro. Um, I'm starting that about about a month when I can when I can get around, um, and the people whoever donated will get a free will get free merch. So um, I'll write their names down. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned. I do have some cool ideas coming. This isn't gonna put a damper on the channel. This is only gonna make it better. And my GoPro got stolen too to make this worse. So uh, no GoPro videos for a little while, but the GoFundMe can also help get a new GoPro. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe guys, stay tuned for more videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.